Hi friends, welcome to the AST tutorial. In this video, we will see about cardiac cycle. Cardiac cycle is a very very important topic and it is also a most repeated question in exam. This video will make you to understand the cardiac cycle in a much more easier form. So no need to read in your textbooks again. Just if you go through that is more than enough. So in this video we will see about the definition. Then about the cardiac cycle time. Main events, sub events, the timing and the fundamental rule. Actually the cardiac cycle the most important thing is this diagram. If you remember this diagram it is more than enough. First, we will see about the definition of cardiac cycle. Cardiac cycle is defined as the series of events. Okay, the series of events that occur from one heartbeat to the next heartbeat. Okay, the events that occurs during a heartbeat. That is the uh, cardiac cycle. Will these these series will be repeated again and again? So we can say that the cyclic repetition of events from one beat to another is called as cardiac cycle next is the cardiac cycle time cardiac cycle time is the time required to complete one cardiac cycle that is it is the time required to complete all the events that occurs during a beat now i will describe this uh, cardiac cycle diagram if you understand this, this diagram you can just present it in your exam very easily so the cycle consists of in this diagram there is two concentric circle the inner circle describes the atrial cycle and the outer circle describes the ventricular cycle so inner is atrium and outer is ventricular cycle next the concentric circles are divided into eight parts it is divided into eight parts and each part is of 0.1 second so each part is of 0.1 second so what will be for 8.8 parts 0.8 seconds so this is the cardiac cycle time cardiac cycle time is 0.8 seconds and from this diagram itself we can know the timing of the main events that is if it is atrial systole then atrial systole is one box that is one part then it is 0.1 second atrial diastole seven seven parts so 0 0.7 seconds it is of 0 0.7 ventricular systole is three parts which means it is of 0 0.3 seconds and the diastole is five parts which means it is 0 0.5 seconds now you understood the timings so we have four main events atrial systole atrial diastole ventricular systole and ventricular diastole now we will see in detail about these events. First, the cycle begins with the atrial systole. So atrial systole initiates the cycle because the pacemaker SA node is situated in it and uh, the time we know it is 0.1 second. What happens is during this period, the atria will contract and expel the blood to the respective ventricles. Then it is followed by the atrial diastole what happens during this period is the atria will relax in systole it will contract and in diastole it relaxes and it receives blood from the great veins the right atrium will receive blood from vena cava and the left will receive blood from pulmonary veins and we know the timings that is atrial systole is 0 0.1 and atrial diastole is 0 0.7 next up after the atrial systole completes, the ventricular systole will commence. That is, at the end of atrial systole, simultaneously, the ventricular systole will also begin. This is because the impulse from the SA node will first arise from the atrium and then it travels to ventricles. So, after the atrial systole, the ventricular systole will begin. And from this, we will deduce the first fundamental rule that is the systoles of the atrium and the systole of ventricle will never overlap so this is the first fundamental rule the systole of ventricle and atrium will never overlap this is the first fundamental rule next in cardiac cycle totally four sounds will be heard the sounds are heard during the opening and the closure of the valves that is here we have the atrioventricular valve and the uh, semilunar valve 
the opening and the closure of the valve will cause the sound so the first sound is heard when the ventricular systole begins when the systole ventricular systole begins the first sound will be heard the this is because due to the closure of the atrioventricular valve when the valve closes the first sound is heard so the av valve is closed but the semilunar valve will take some time to open during this time we say it as isometric contraction period what happens is here the ventricles will be contracting it will hold the blood because the both the valves are closed the semilunar valve will open after a time so in this period both the valve is closed and it is as a closed cavity and this period is of 0.05 second next is the maximum ejection period during this period the uh, semilunar valve will open and the blood will expel from the ventricles so it will maximum ejection will be there from the ventricles so this period will account for 0.11 seconds then the reduced ejection the, the ejection will slow, slow down so this is 0.14 second so these are the first three sub events isometric contraction maximum and reduced ejection so by this the ventricular systole has completed and then the ventricular diastole will start when the diastole starts the semilunar valve which is open the valve is opened right that must closed when the di ventricular diastole begins the valve must get closed but it takes a small period of time to get closed after the ventricular diastole has begin so this period is known as the proto diastolysis it is of 0.04 second okay. and the second sound will be heard when the semilunar valve closes so the first sound is heard when the atrioventricular closes the second sound is heard when the semilunar valve closes so after this what happens is the semilunar valve is closed but the atrioventricular valve must open right but it takes some time to open during this time there will be no blood in the ventricles because uh, most the blood is ejected so all the blood from the ventricles is ejected this period there will be no blood and the ventricles will be relaxing this period is known as isometric relaxation like the isometric contraction where it will be contracting here it will be relaxing time period is 0.08 second so after this the valve will open and the third sound will be heard so as soon as the atrioventricular valve opens the blood will rush into the ventricles so this is the first rapid filling phase okay the rush of blood there is a rapid filling of the ventricles we say this as the first rapid filling because there is another uh, rapid filling phase also so this is first rapid filling phase and the time is 0.113 seconds okay after this the flow flow of blood will decrease we say it as slow filling phase or diastasis it constitutes of 0.167 seconds and this is the longest period okay next after this again there will be a rapid filling why there is a rapid filling again this is because the atrium will go for contraction the atria will start contracting but the ventricles will be there in the still the diastolysis phase so because of the atrial contraction it causes the last rapid filling phase in the ventricles it is of 0.1 second and due to again the speed of the blood increases it causes the fourth sound due to the rapidness of the blood filling it causes the fourth sound so by this we have completed all the events and the sub events and the sound when the sound will occur so but uh, there is one fundamental rule left out the second fundamental rule this rule states that uh, the diastole of the atria and the diastole of the ventricle will partially overlap so what the diastoles of the atria and ventricle will partially overlap that time we say it as hartz diastole when the diastoles overlap that is known as the hartz diastole uh, the atria and the ventricle both are in the diastole phase it is of 0.4 seconds so this is it friends about the cardiac cycle i hope you all would have understood it 
thank you for watching the video if you like the video don't forget to like the hit button and do subscribe to the ask tutorial and if you have any doubts or if you need any topics to be, to be discussed you can comment below